guys, welcome back to our channel. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't vlogged recently. I have been going through some ups and downs just with my self care. So, um, but I'm working through it. So for today, we are doing a mini shopping haul. Say so we're doing a mini shopping haul. Shopping haul. Yeah. So uh, we had some shopping to do today. Mostly central, it's not that boring though. Some of it is boring, none of it most of it isn't. Uh, I can't figure out if she wants to get down or not. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, we're gonna start off with the boring. So recently, as you guys can tell, the license is not a baby no more. And I have been buying her um, baby products like for her hair, body wash. Doesn't do her justice. She's a growing kid. A lot of the baby products that she was using, um, good work and like moisturize and whatnot but recently the ones they have been leaving to dry so hey 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 leave ash alone please so i had to look for some new products for her body wash and her hair because nobody likes to dry skin and i'm pretty sure it irritates a kid as much as it does for us when we have dry skin so i was noticing that some of them would leave her dry skin and wouldn't moisturize her enough yes i would lotion her every night and every day Ash, no. Leave him alone, baby. Leave him alone. He, he was just about to scratch you and you keep bugging him. Leave him alone. Alright, so, um. So I found. <laughs> Sorry, she just interrupts too much. The perks of having a kid. So, um, so one of these products that I found, I guess it's new. It's with the Johnson Company. I wouldn't usually use Johnson, but Avino or Dove, they only have baby products at the moment. They don't have like toddler products for, you know, for kids. So, I saw that Johnson has a new thing. So, it's a Johnson new for kids. So, you guys can tell. See, single. Can you read it? It's new for kids. It says right there, new for kids. And it's ultra hydrating shampoo. It has proteins, pro vitamin B5, nourishing and hydrates hair. No parabens. Um, so fits or dies. So, Hi, mommy. hopefully this works really good. I honestly thought this was. I think oh. yeah. Hi, mommy. Yeah, I honestly thought this was a double body wash and hair wash, but I guess not. That's fine. That means I just had to find another like body wash for her. That's okay. Mommy, hi, um, so that's what I got. She, I also got the the they have one. Also, but I got the baby version of this and the shampoo version this if that makes any sense so i got the the calming lavender there we go in this one yes baby thank you all right so as you guys can tell um the one that i used is already in the bathroom because she just took a bath right now so um i got her the lotion for the nighttime because i like doing that and i got her just the regular baby lotion let's see how it works because i didn't have any kid ones and i'm the other ones I wasn't really like too confident in just because I'm she has very sensitive skin so I'm very careful what I put on her skin. So that's why it's hard for me to look this stuff. Yeah, but I can't find like an organic lotion for her tops to that, but then she is sensitive and I don't know if she's allergic to any other stuff. Anyways, away from the boring. <laughs> One of the other things that we needed was um Monday. Hey guys. Um, as I was editing the video right now, I noticed that um, throughout the transition right now, it makes no sense and that's because the clip where I left off um, before I set the camera like, was acting up. I guess it didn't save that clip. But the rest of the shopping haul, um, I did not get at CVS. I got at Diddy's Discount. If you guys don't know what Diddy's Discount, it is, I think Ross owns that store or I think Diddy's owns Ross now. I don't know how how it is but it's practically like Ross so they have like a lot of like brand clothing for cheap you know like they're out of season stuff but it's really good quality so I just want to let you guys know in case you're curious about like what the heck was she talking about but the rest of the things are from these discounts sorry about the awkward transitioning you guys um, but I was interrupted because it's somebody's birthday and they were doing like a birthday cake thing so hence why the transitioning is just horrible that's all you guys need to know Alright, sorry, my camera keeps acting up. But, 
Um, I was talking about how cheap it is there. So yes, I got a seven pack of the bikini underwear for $5.99 and that is not bad. I actually got another one but the other one's a 10 pack I believe. But it's so cute. I'm really picky about the kind of graphics the underwear has. I don't know why. It has to be cute or simple. It just has to be. The other one I got, um, it's also a seven pack. Um, bikini as well, $5.99. Um, it, this one has kitties and doggies and hearts and just regular prints. I love them. It's just, she's a kid, you know, she needs to have little simple, simple graphics on them. Nothing too, too adultish. She's a child. I like her having childish things. And oh, she, I got her another second pack of um, socks. Um, this one is a 10 pair for five four ninety nine, and this one was, I think, also a 10 pair, but this one was $3. They were different brands. This brand is a pickle and pet. So, so cute. This has animals on them. I love them. I keep her socks very childish as well. She's, they're cute. She likes she likes her socks just like me. Like, if I can collect socks, I would. But I collect more mugs because mugs just call to me more. And socks for adults are really pricey. So, I get them every once in a while. But she loves looking at her socks. So, I get her like little... Kid ones, this has little animals, mostly doggies. I think there's a cat in there. No, it's just mostly doggies. But then this one just simple. This one's just simple. But she likes looking at them either way. She's like hearts. She likes seeing the colors. Like that. This one has stripes. Really cute. So those are her essentials. And then I just had to, I just had to get a couple of things for her. As the outfit that you guys saw with her earlier when she said hi. That's one of the outfits I got her for $9.99. It's all Vampirina from Disney. And then I got another one. It's also a Disney one, but this one is a Minnie Mouse. I am a Disney fan, big time. If I had all the money in the world, believe me, this room would be a freaking Disney fantasy room. It really would. I wouldn't care what people had to say about it. Who would have to suck it up. It would be a Disney room, just so you guys know. And I would have like a whole collection of Mrs. Potts as my tea collection like for real so here's another one this since winter is coming already i always feel the sweater before i get them no matter what this one was hella soft otherwise i wouldn't have gotten it was thin even though i love this one but um winter is coming and i got her this one in a size six just because the size five looked really really small for her and you know most of these clothes shrink so i didn't want to risk it and just have her wear it for like four months no I want her to wear it for like a long time. So this is cute. This will probably last her to next year if she doesn't see girl and stuff going. This is love. It has mini, the classic mini on it. And then in the bottom it says, oh, fabulously original. Yes, girl. Yes. And then the leggings. It has um, the mini bows of polka dots. I wish it would have came with the shirt, but it didn't. For some reason, it just came with the sweater and, um, and the leggings. But that's fine. The leggings are alright, they're not as thick as I would want them to be, they are pretty thin, but they're really soft and comfortable. Oh, actually, actually they're alright, now that I'm feeling it, it's alright. So, got her this, so cute. And then, I got myself one pair of jeans because my tummy seems to not want to stop growing, so I threw all the jeans out because none of them fit me no more. Literally every single jean that I had does not fit me no more. So I threw them out. Um, I threw them out. And um, sorry if you couldn't see me running in the background. I forgot to turn it off, but that's fine. So I got these pairs of jeans. Um, I know they say that when you get high-waisted jeans, you're supposed to get like one or two sizes up than your regular size because, you know, high-waisted are a little bit tighter than regular jeans. So... Kept that in mind, I was a size 7, but 7 doesn't seem to fit past my thighs anymore. Um, so I was like, if I was a size 7 and I got a size 9 when I was wearing high-waisted pants, then I'm a size 9 regular pants, meaning I should get like a size 12 to a 13, right? And I'm getting a size 13, and it fits me so perfect, so cute. This is, I don't know what brand this is. It's a... Alright guys, so um, I forgot to do a clip of myself trying on the pants, so I'm doing it right now, head to the middle of editing since, like, you know, we all know there's like a little cam on my computer, 
I can believe it's like you guys can't see the camera that I'm talking about. I'm pointing at it. It's right there. But yes, so um, I'm instructing myself to show you guys how the pants fit so you guys know what I'm talking about. It fit me really good. I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, don't mind my tummy. I actually like how they're not all the way, like I'm really short. So they fit me like biking really good at the angle and the angle at the ankle. So, you know, it's not too scrunched up, but it's perfect enough to be scrunched up. I love it. This one looks in the back. So cute. I can love it. Like, you know? Cute. Um, what brand is this? I think it's... Um, it's a... What brand are you? Doesn't say... Always Friday. I don't know if you guys know that brand. I've never heard of it. But I got the Always Friday brand. So cute. Oh, it says right here, how did I not see the little gold piece? That is actually really cute. Fits really nice. I love it. Comfortable. I was going to get myself some boots, but then I was like, nope. I'm going to Walmart this weekend. I'm going to put a bunch of stuff on layaway and pay it off next month and get all of that and do another shopping haul. So we're going to have a Walmart shopping haul coming soon, you guys. And Delisa being the kid that she is and never listening like every other child in the whole world when it comes to looking at toys, being very stubborn as she was, opened the toy in the store when I asked her not to. So she got this little LOL ball that you open up it. I don't know why. They should have like little prints on the ball. But this is how the print. She saw this. It was covered with this little sticker of the LOL dolls. Opened it up. I did not notice because I was looking at the mugs. I was in the mug collection when she opened it up. So she got this little cute thing. It has a little squishy. I don't know what this is called. I think this is called a squishy. It says makeover. Such a girl. And then it has a charm necklace of an LOL doll. She got that. And the only reason I bought it was because she opened the chapstick up and used the chapstick. Otherwise, I would just left it there open, to be honest. I'm one of those people. So because she used the lip balm, I kept it. And it came with a sticker. So she just had to open that up. You know what's funny? I just noticed that her name is Miss Punk. Delisa was a punk today for opening this one. I told her not to. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Last but not least. Oh, well, actually, just one more thing. I don't know if it's in here or not. Oh, yes, it is. I had to get the Lysa one of these. She actually likes it so far. Um, she She's using it right now. I actually got it for her today. It was really dirty, but I hand washed it. So now it's, like, super clean. Oh, my God, it looks so clean. It was so dirty. Like, it was, like, it was the only last one. So that's the only reason I bought it. Otherwise, I would have searched for, like, a cleaner one. But, you know, it can be washed. It's... It just gets dirty when people just drop it on the floor, step on it, don't pick it up, it's already dirty by then. That's fine. It's washable. So, I washed it. So cute. It was the only kid one that they had. Otherwise, they had other, like, simple color ones. But they didn't have, like, pink. They only had, like, gray, blue. She's a kid. She needs to like her things. So, she chose this little one. It's the last kitty one. It was so pretty. So pretty. I love it. I hand washed it. It looks so nice. The minute I hand washed it, I was like, yep, I'm glad I did not leave it. So cute. So the reason I got her this is because in the car, when she's sleeping, when she falls asleep or takes a nap in the car ride, her head goes down like this. So, you know, I feel bad. She's my baby. Who likes to see their kids, like, head, like, ugh, 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 in the car seat? No. We all need, yeah. So I got her this for when she falls asleep so she can have a pillow. She'll be comfortable. She won't go like this too much. And if she does, she'll have, and it has a little clip too, so that's cool. So, I got her this for her car rides. Like this weekend we're gonna have a car like a lot of car rides. Like we're gonna have a weekend car ride this whole weekend. So she needs to be prepared to fall asleep and take naps in the car without hurting her neck. So I got her that. And last but not least, now the mug collector that I am. It was $2.49. Alright? Don't shame me on this. But it was so cute. I know I have a cat, but I used to have a dog and I love dogs so much. But I wish I had a cat one because that would have been even cuter because I have a cat right now. But if I still had the dog, I still would have gotten the cut dog. Or if they had the cat one, I would have gotten the cat one. But it's so cute. It says, life is rough. Oh my god. And it has a little wiener dog. Isn't that so adorable as a handle? Oh my goodness. If they had a cat one, I swear to God, I would have gotten both the cat and the dog and it would have been a pair. Yeah. I swear. Oh my God, it's so cute. Sorry if you're looking at the viewfinder. It's just, I, noticed, I, feel, like, I feel like you can't see my my eyes because of my glasses. Let me lower this down. So, yeah. That's the end of my shopping haul, you guys. 
I'm sorry I haven't vlogged. I will have this vlog coming up soon. It's a little old, but it's a memory for me. It's the day we went to the aquarium. It was like about two weeks ago. But I'm, a, I'm in the process of editing it, and I hopefully will have it up by this weekend. This one will will be up by t tomorrow. I'm going to edit it right now. So thank you guys for watching. Do you guys have any recommendations on what you guys want to watch? I know I don't have a lot of viewers right now, but still, you guys can still comment down below. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys are interested in. If you guys like this, please hit that red subscribe button. Put on that notification sound for every time I put up a vlog. And you guys have a very lovely day or a very lovely night. Bye!